Whichever way you look at it, you know, it's very difficult times for Prince Harry. He's battling it out to try and apparently get the British media over here shut down or at least, uh, you know, basically told off and told what to do by him. That's failing not too well. And then, of course, he's had the indignation of his wife's Spotify podcast deal cruelly abused around the world, known as grifters. So it's difficult, isn't it? He doesn't want to become emasculated. I know, that's a difficult word to say at this time of day, let me tell you. But that truly is part of the problem. You can understand it, can't you? Prince Harry likes to believe that he's an equal partnership. And as he's spoken before, he couldn't lead the life that he does without his beautiful wife at his side. She was equally gushing at the launch of the Invictus Games over in the Netherlands, remember that. But recently, you see, they decided to declare this particular situation, which created quite a few laughs, but more importantly has now put them in a very tricky manoeuvre. As ever, let me explain. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you today. Let's have a wave. You all right? Good morning, everybody, or good evening. Whatever you're doing, if you're going to bed, and welcome one and all brand new subscribers as ever. Thank you for all your positive and kind comments. Love to see you getting involved in the stories. Do like your opinion on things. We get a bit vocal, as I say, but keep it clean. And more importantly, just be polite to each other if people spell things a little bit wrong. We're all guilty of it, you know. It's, it's the keyboards, isn't it? I know. I know, and after a while you think, oh, I can't be bothered, can you? If you put that wine glass down for five minutes, you might see a bit clearer. Pulling your leg, of course. <laughs> Back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. Now, you see, it's difficult because Harry and Meghan decided to support a, a sort of charitable thing called Equimundo. And this really was a strange thing in itself because we hadn't heard them from a while. But obviously, they're trying to, you know, reconnect to their charitable roots. You know, those charitable roots where they gave about an hour a week, I think, together. That's how much effort they were putting in to their own alleged working charity. But you see, this particular charity was something very close to Harry and Meghan's heart, simply because they wanted to feature role reversal, proving that, you know, it's equality, all of that sort of stuff. Now, equality clearly doesn't go both ways because Meghan's not speaking to her father. And as we now know it, of course, uh, Prince Harry hasn't spoken to his father for some time. So a bit of a problem, as you can imagine. Now, moving forward, though, their team had this idea. You see, part of the deal was simply this. What they thought was the fact that if you wanted to roll reverse, say having the guy, I don't know, mowing the lawn, or say having the woman uh, mowing the lawn and the guy cooking, well, what about Harry and Meghan taking a picture, doing something similar, showing roll reversals? Now, as ever, we have to say allegedly, seemingly this went down very well with Meghan. She liked the idea, apparently, of power play. But the role of Prince Harry in a pinny with rubber gloves on over the kitchen sink apparently didn't go down too well. You see, his argument, according to a very good source, was that he would be ridiculed and it's already bad enough for him. But this is for charity, as they all sort of echoed, as you can imagine. Seemingly as we are standing right now, Equimundo, I think it's called, well, they've still to receive those pictures. They've had the backing on the Harry and Meghan website, but that was met with quite a few guffaws given the family fallouts. Surely the picture would cement their commitment. So far, though, Harry seems very uncommitted, while Meghan can't wait to get to play a character a little bit like Alexis Carrington Colby Dexter, Ella Joan Collins in Dynasty. Will her dream come true, at least in a picture? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.